Right, so in the last part, we successfully activated an account and we set up that whole process that lets us do this. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this record here. Okay, so we've got no users in the uh, database now. And what I'm going to do is just log out. And I'm going to uh, process this login form but with an email script that sends an email out. Now, if you haven't already seen my email tutorial, uh, this is basically going to explain how to send an email. But if you do really want to learn a bit more about the email process, I suggest you watch that tutorial and then watch this part of the um, this uh, specific tutorial set. So under our register, um, we're going to need to send the email about email out. We've got the random number going in here, but here underneath. We're going to send activation email. Uh, and like I said before, I've got my Hotmail account open here um, with my inbox just ready. Oh, I've got a new email. Okay. Uh, there we go. Okay, so um, this is basically gonna, just going to be um, sent to my inbox here. Okay, so we need a few parameters. This is two. And our two is obviously going to equal our email address here that we're being put into the database. Um, we. Um, shortly added this and put it into an email there so our two is just going to equal our email uh, you can just leave it as email but I prefer doing this and um, our from is going to be in fact now this needs to be under headers our subject needs to be um, activate your account yep and our headers uh, which we require when we're sending an email um, through the mail um, function like at the moment because uh, it will return an error at the moment um, is just going to be from and then um, PHP or admin at PHP Academy dot com and um, bear in mind that um, bear in mind that if you don't understand what this what I'm going on about here make sure you read my email tutorial um, how to create your email um, what we also need is the mail server so I'm going to say server equals and this is just my mail host server for my uh, university so you should really use like your own okay so this is the um, function to send email and this is the mail function here we're going to say two we're going to say um, the subject the body which we need to create I forgot to do that and the headers so there we are okay so this uh, function on its own will actually send the email uh, we need to create the body of the email and this is pretty simple we're going to create this as a string uh, a lot of text and I'm going to come down here because uh, remember we can uh, go down a couple of lines and I'm going to say hello and I need to give a name so the uh, full name. just shove full name in there hello full name so hello Alex Garrett in the case of me registering um, you need to activate your account with the link below and um, we need to construct this link um, so the link is going to be http colon forward slash forward slash localhost for me um, because obviously I'm running off my local um, my PC so it's a local host or 127.0.0.1 it's up to you obviously if you're using a domain um, on a hosted or um, self-hosted server you need to include your domain here that's pretty self-explanatory um, I've got PHP Academy forward slash tutorials forward slash register login forward slash activate .php. remember I showed you guys this before we're doing um, a question mark ID equals ID uh, our ID is put in uh, let's see. Oh, in fact, we don't have an ID being put in, do we? Yes. Okay. So we need to use a function here, um, which is MySQL insert ID. And what this is going to do is, is it's going to get the last inserted ID of the record. Um, so the basic, basically, the way we do this is. All right. Okay, we need to create a variable up here after we've uh, created this query here. So I'm going to say last ID equals MySQL insert ID. Okay, and this is going to return the um, inserted ID. So what I could do is say die last ID, and um, we can just make sure this works. Um, 
obviously I need to test this okay so um, let's go, and re get, go ahead and register a user okay so Alex Garrett uh, choose your name Alex Heden Heden and my email address um, as usual and I'm going to click register okay oh we've got nothing no output at all all right Okay, so yeah, basically what we're going to do is um, we're going to get rid of this die here. Um, we're just going to echo this out here, and I'm going to kill the script there just to test this echo command. Uh, we'll do it this way. Okay, so uh, we're going to register in. I'm going to register Alex and Heden. I'm going to click register, and here has been returned. Ret 14 has been returned, and if we check inside our database, this new registered user, we've got 14 here. So naturally, what we need to do is just um, use this uh, variable. Oh, let's find it. This variable um, last ID um, to put into um, our uh, login link th login link URL in order to activate that specific user. So we're going to set the last ID equals to MySQL insert ID. Uh, this command basically gets the um, the last um, auto increment column value that you've inserted. Um, so as long as you've got like a column or a field, if you like, um, with the um, auto increment function inside MySQL, um, you're going to be able to use this MySQL inside ID. Okay, so that is last ID. I believe I called it last ID. Yeah, last ID. Okay, so we've got last ID for the ID and code equals. Now this is pretty easy. Um, all we've got is up here, random. So that's the random variable which has generated our random code there. And let's go back down and across. And we're just going to paste uh, the random in there. So that's basically our URL constructed. Um, obviously, here we need uh, two line breaks uh, with four, uh, backslash n, backslash n. And here I'm going to say backslash n, backslash n as well. After that, after that, there. And then down here, I'm just going to say. Um, Thanks, or something like that, you know, do whatever you want. Okay, and this is then going to send that email, and then we can die and say you have been registered. Um, we can't log in, so we're going to say check your email to activate your account. So that's pretty much it. Um, and then that's about it, yeah, that's, that's more or less it. Um, hopefully, it'll work. I mean, I'm not sort of counting on the um, email script to work at the moment. Uh, we need to make a few modifications to it, uh, and that's basically. Um, I said I set my server here. What you need to do is, um, unless your PHP.ini is set to this already, um, we need to use the um, ini set uh, function. And what this does is it sets a particular value of your PHP.ini file um, to whatever you specify. And this is the SMTP part for me. And I'm going to change this to mailhost. In fact, I don't need to do that at all. I can just write server in there. So we're changing the um, SMTP line in our um, PHP.ini to our mailhost.sheffield.acuk. Um, while we send this email with this command here, this mail function command. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, in the next part of this tutorial, test this out so you guys can see if it's worked and if it hasn't we can make a few changes so I'll see you in the next part thanks for watching